Good morning. Let us study today kinetics of condensation polymerization reaction. It is also called stepwise polymerization reaction or it is also called step growth polymerization reaction. We have yesterday we have yesterday studied the free radical addition polymerization reaction. This is just the opposite of free radical addition polymerization reaction. So let us compare. This is just the opposite of free radical addition polymerization reaction. Therefore, let us compare condensation polymerization reaction with the free radical addition polymerization reaction. Okay. It is also called this free radical addition polymerization is also called chain growth polymerization. Okay. The name itself the monomer molecule, the monomer molecule attacks the attacks only the already growing polymer radical chain. Okay, this is the polymer radical chain. The monomer attacks only the already growing polymer chain, radical chain. Whereas in this case, monomers or oligomers or polymer can attack any monomer, any other monomer present at that time, present at that time T to form the chain, to can link together to form the chain. Monomers can attack another monomer and can link together to form chain. Okay. The second example, what is the example? Binary chloride. For example, binary chloride undergoes polymerization to in the presence of initiator and the heat pressure to give polyvinyl chloride, PEC. And here there is no elimination takes place. There is no elimination of uh, simple molecules. Okay, there are no by, by products. There are no by products formed in this free radical addition polymerization reaction. Whereas in the case of uh, condensation polymerization reaction, for example, hydroxy carboxylic acid, there are two functional groups present in the same molecule, OH group and carboxylic acid. When two molecules or when several molecules combine together, combine together. To form, for example, COH acid, carboxylic acid reacts with the alcohol. It is called esterification reaction. What is called esterification reaction? The reaction between carboxylic acid and the alcohol group is called esterification reaction. Since several molecules, n molecules react here, n molecules react. Therefore, there are several ester group. So it is called polyester. This polymer is called polyester because it consists of several ester groups. This is ester group. Okay. Here, simple molecules are eliminated. Simple molecules. Here, there is no elimination. Here, there, are, there occurs simple elimination of uh, molecules. There are byproducts found during the condensation polymerization reaction. Whereas in free radical addition polymerization reaction, we have studied there are two to three termination steps. There are three termination steps. One is radical coupling step, another is disproportionation. We have studied yesterday, and another is radical transfer, radical transfer by external addition, external addition method. Okay. Now here there is no termination here. Here there is no termination. Okay. Now, the degree of polymerization is very very important. It is calculated from the ratio of rate of propagation to rate of termination step. Okay. Whereas, in this case, since there is no termination, the degree of polymerization is calculated from the ratio of monomer concentration in the beginning to the monomer concentration present at that time t. This is the monomer concentration present at time t after the polymerization started. Okay, therefore this is let us say 1, the monomer concentration is 1, then 1 minus P, where P is defined as the fraction of monomer molecules condensed or reacted. Fraction of monomer molecules or condensed or reacted. Okay, now let us plot the chain length. The degree of polymerization is also called the chain length of the polymer chain. Of polymer, okay, chain length or degree of polymerization, the plot of degree of polymerization that the fraction of molecule, monomer molecule condensed or reacted is shown for 
free radical polymerization reaction and stepwise polymerization reaction. These two are opposite. For example, the degree of average degree of polymerization increases in the beginning and slowly increasing after some time. In the case of uh, free radical polymerization reaction, whereas in stepwise polymerization reaction, in the beginning, the average chain length, the average chain length increases slowly and increases tremendously towards the end of polymerization. This is P equal to 1. Towards the end of the reaction, all the all are condensed. So towards the end of polymerization reaction. Let us study now the kinetics and derive the rate of condensation polymerization reaction. For example, polyester is formed from hydroxy acid. For example, the formation of polyester from hydroxy carboxylic acid. Okay. Now, the overall rate of reaction, the overall rate of uh, condensation polymerization reaction is equal to the rate of disappearance of monomer. It is equal to rate of disappearance of monomer. That is equal to second order rate constant, rate constant into concentration of OH and concentration of COH. Okay. Because there are two function groups, they are involved in condensation reaction to form the polymer chain. Therefore, for each monomer, see, for each, this is a monomer, for each monomer there is one OH. Therefore, this is equal to concentration of OH equal to monomer concentration. Similarly, for each monomer there is one COH group. Therefore, here, this is equal to monomer concentration. Therefore, K into monomer concentration square. Therefore, the overall order of the reaction, the overall order of the polymerization reaction is 2 with respect to monomer concentration. This is often asked in competitive examination. Now, let us uh, integrate, let us find out the rate constant and concentration of the monomer at left at that time t. Okay. So, on integrating, let us uh, bring here, okay, bring here and t, t, t here. That on integrating between the limits, initial concentration, m0, concentration at that time, concentration of the monomer at that time t equal to concentration of m and 0 time and at time t. Therefore, this uh, dx by dx square, I have given how to integrate to obtain the result. Therefore, minus 1 by x. Similarly, therefore, minus, here minus is there. Therefore, minus, minus plus 1 by m. And the limits m0, m equal to k, kt. Okay. Then, this uh, 1 by m0, on applying the limits, 1 by concentration m, 1 by minus 1 by concentration m0 equal to kt. Let us uh, bring this side. This, uh, this side, therefore 1 by m, and then invert on inverting, okay, you will get the concentration of the monomer at time t. This is the concentration of the monomer remaining or unreacted at time t, okay. This, this can be, for example, if you are given the rate constant, initial monomer concentration and the time, then you can calculate the what is the concentration of monomer remaining at time t? Okay. The problem may be asked by using this equation. Next, what is P? P is defined as the fraction of monomer molecule condensed. Therefore, that is uh, condensed means m dot minus m. That is, uh, it will give the monomer molecule condensed, monomer molecule reacted divided by monomer concentration, the initial concentration of monomer. Okay. The degree of polymerization reaction, the degree of polymerization condensation reaction is equal to 1 by 1 minus P. Okay. Therefore, on substituting this, uh, you know M0, initial concentration, M is this, on substituting this, here you will get 1 plus AT, M0. For example, in gate or CSIR, they will ask you to calculate the degree of polymerization or average number of monomer molecule. 
in a polymer chain. For example, you have a polymer chain. How many monomer, monomer molecules are present? That is nothing but degree of polymerization. So the degree of polymerization is defined as the average number of monomer molecules present in a polymer chain. Okay. It can be calculated if you are given the rate constant at particular time and the monomer initial concentration. Okay. Thank you for watching.